Welcome back to a Road Life Series episode. So this is where we drop the script, we just hang out, and I try to give you some honest insight into what it's actually like to live in the truck camper full time. So July was a great month, um, had a lot of fun. I hope you liked the little montage at the beginning. That was from paddleboarding around Bend, Oregon. And uh, man, I cannot believe it's already been four months flying by. Um, we're going to run this one just like the last one. We're going to do rosebud thorn. Roses being things that went well, thorns things that didn't go so well, and buds things I'm looking forward to. Um, you guys know I like to end on a positive note so we'll kick it off with the thorns. Luckily only two thorns this month which is pretty dang good. Um, number one, my refrigerator bit the dust. The Ihmi is no more, and I spoiled a bunch of food. Um, if you want to know more about that, go check out the Rig Regrets video. I talk about it a lot in there. Um, long story short, I think I just got a dud. Not to say all of them are bad, but um, I just got unlucky with mine. So, um, number two is wildfires and smoke. Unfortunately, one of the backpacking areas that we were getting ready to head to um, is getting totally demolished by a wildfire right now. Um, and the thorn isn't necessarily like my backpacking trip or my camping plans or things like that. It's more so just the scale and intensity of these wildfires lately. Um, so, yeah, sharp thorn there. But that's about it. As for roses, for roses, the list is so long I had to make some bullets. So number one is uncompressed time to visit with friends. Um, this lifestyle has allowed me to see people so much more um, than I have in the last few years. and that in itself is worth its weight in gold to me. Uh, so I'm really grateful for that. Uh, finding new spots. I found some alpine lakes and did some fly fishing in places I'd never fly fished before. Um, the, the lakes were really great because I'm kind of used to only getting to do like a cold plunge in a river. You don't really swim in a river, but I found some very comfortable swimming lakes uh, this month and that was a ton of fun. Um, the next one is just broadly speaking, I've been enjoying my life so much <laughs> that uh, I've been inspired to try to be healthier and live healthier. Um, I took a few weeks off of drinking and that was great because I just noticed how much my energy levels and sleep quality went through the roof and uh, kind of snowballing on that wanting to be healthier thing too. I've been trying to incorporate ways to work out every day, um, which is a bit more of a challenge than you might expect when you're living on the road. Um, you would think that is just incorporated into the lifestyle. And while you do have access to much more uh, wild spaces and you're spending a lot more time outside and getting more sun and all those good things, the activity level actually takes quite a bit of effort so um, yeah I've been incorporating a lot of those things and I, I want to attribute that to um, living in the truck I think that's a big part of it so um, let's see I made it to Washington and found some cooler weather and also a few more <laughs> mosquitoes and flies but that's all good and uh, it is berry season up here. So I've been picking fresh thimble berries and putting them in my oatmeal in the morning. Oh, so good. Um, I also installed 100 watts of solar on my roof and I've been really happy with how much more convenient that is than setting out the panel all the time. So um, we'll keep you posted on how things go with that and if I end up having to add more or not, but right now I've been really happy with it. There is a video out there you can check out if you want more info. Um, other things related to YouTube, I released a new ebook 
about building a chuck box. Um, that was a cool process I'd never done before. And uh, yeah, I put together this little ebook. So if you want to build a chuck box, you want to build the chuck box I have, there are now plans on Amazon to do so. I'll link that below too. Um, and then let's see, I also crossed the 4,000 watch hour threshold uh, just a few days ago, which I, if you guys follow YouTube, that means I can now monetize the channel, which is a really good thing because the savings account is dwindling. Um, again, we will eventually talk about the financial side of living this lifestyle and, and what that looks like. Um, so coming soon. But yeah, thank you everyone for, uh, for your support, for watching the channel showing up commenting and i hope you're finding all of this helpful so thank you for being here okay moving on to buds for buds or things i'm looking forward to um, up first we have the best fly fishing season ahead so august and september are by far my favorite times of fish um, it seems like dry fly action turns on a lot more and the fish get pretty aggressive. So uh, really looking forward to getting out onto some more rivers and streams uh, around Oregon and Washington. So um, number two is I'm still going backpacking. Not the original plan, but um, another location that should be a lot of fun. And then number three is I have my refrigerator showing up in the mail soon. And I'm excited to share that with you guys and talk about uh, what I went with and why. And then number four, I actually picked up a recurve bow recently and I'm pretty excited to play around with that thing and see what I can, uh, see if I can get accurate with it. So um, if you're still here, I really appreciate you and I see you. And I also want to extend a question if there is anything that you guys want to know about this lifestyle, um, things I haven't covered yet, things you're just interested in learning about, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll do my best to make a video for you. So anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. I look forward to having more chats with you in the future and uh, I'll see you next time.